Notion just launched a brand new integration with Cron, the calendar app that they acquired last year. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this brand new integration. And as a little bonus, I'm also gonna share a little integration that I coded up today, which will actually sync new events from Notion to your calendar. Because spoiler alert, this integration with Cron doesn't do that. Maybe we'll get that in the future, but for now, it does something a little bit different. It's still pretty cool. So later on in the video, I'm gonna show you that little syncing automation I coded up, share it with you. But first and foremost, let's dig into this brand new Cron integration because it is pretty sweet. So here in Cron, which is my calendar app of choice these days, if I click on an event, I now have this new docs and links section right here in the event details. And this will actually allow me to link Notion pages from a connected Notion workspace directly in my calendar app. So if I click this, I can first connect to Notion and that's gonna give us our classic Notion connection dialogue here. I'm gonna select my super experimental workspace, allow access, and that is all you have to do. Now you're gonna see this little dialogue that pops out and you'll see all of your recent pages from that connected workspace. And I will also note if you wanna connect additional workspaces, you can just go to manage workspaces right here and you can easily connect an additional one if you want. From there, you can select those recent pages. You can also search. So for example, if I really wanted to add my MTG combos page right there, I could search for it or I could actually go over to Notion itself. And if I'm on a Notion page, I can hit command L, which is going to be control L on a Windows machine to copy the URL of the page to my clipboard. I can go back over to cron and I can add it just by pasting that link right there and clicking the title that comes up. So this basically allows you to very easily add Notion page attachments directly inside of Cron. There are other apps that work as well, like Figma. And then when you invite people to your events, they're gonna get access to those Notion pages as well. So it's just a really seamless way to give people access to say meeting notes or other Notion pages that are relevant to a meeting you're having. Now, before we go over to that little sync workflow that I built for you, I do wanna point out a couple other cool features from Cron in case you haven't checked them out yourself. First and foremost, there is a conferencing option here. So you can automatically have a Zoom or Google Meet URL added to new events that you create, which is pretty sweet. And there's also this cool little feature to the left of your calendar here where you can actually add multiple different time zones. And Cron has lots of other cool features as well. So I'd recommend checking it out if you are curious. But for now, I'd like to move on to what this integration launch doesn't currently cover. And that is syncing events from Notion to your calendar. This is something that I have wanted from Notion for a very long time. We still don't have it. And being kind of a code nerd at this point, I do understand that there are a lot of technical reasons that make it quite difficult, especially when we're talking about two-way sync, which is something that we just can't really do very well at this point. So I have taken it upon myself to at least help us get part of the way there by publishing an automation that will at least push new events from Notion to your Google Calendar. And if you happen to use Google Calendar, you can easily hook that up to Cron, which I have done myself. I've built this automation in Pipedream, which is my new favorite automation builder platform. And because Pipedream is so customizable on the code side, I'm actually able to share the workflow I've built with you and make it extremely easy to set up. Let's go ahead and do it. So. First and foremost, there is a link that I've shared in the description down below. I've also put it at the bottom of this random meeting notes here in Notion. If you click this, it's going to basically open up a brand new workflow in your Pipedream account. And if you don't have a Pipedream account, you'll be able to create one as well. One of my favorite things about Pipedream is it is extremely affordable. In fact, their free plan will let you do almost anything you want. So you can run this for free and uh, it's a lot more capable than Zapier or make.com or basically any other automation platform I've seen out there. Basically what this going to do is trigger every 15 minutes, or if you want to adjust the schedule, you can. It's going to look for new pages in a Notion database that you choose, and it's going to push those to your Google Calendar. So first, we'll connect our Notion account by clicking right here. I've already got mine set up, and I've chosen my super experimental space. One thing I will note is that when you're connecting your Notion account, do make sure to give it permission to the database or the page that contains the database that you want to use for your new events. I'm also going to change the timer from every 15 minutes to every hour, and that has to do with how uh, Pipedream handles the credits on its free account. You can do every 15 minutes, but it's gonna use most of the credits that you're gonna get in a day. So I'd recommend going to an hour instead. After that, I'm gonna select my database ID and I'm gonna go with the all tasks UB database right here. So basically I'm going to sync tasks from my Notion workspace over to my Google Calendar. I'll hit create source right here. And that is going to basically set up this trigger. And that is the first step we have to actually go through to get this working. And once the trigger is finished setting up, we now have to select an event. And basically what we're gonna to wanna to do is actually go over to Notion and create a test event, which we can then use as like sort of dummy data to set up the rest of our workflow. So to do that, 
I'm going to go over to the task manager here in ultimate brain. This is my template for complete personal productivity inside of notion. I'm going to head over to the today view right here, and I'm just going to create a brand new task called uh, fittingly film cron video. I'm then going to give it a due date and I'm also going to give it a due time and an end date because I want to show you how this integration actually works for both of those. And let me scroll down a bit so I can hopefully, there we go, get the dialogue looking a little bit better. So I'm going to set this from, let's just say 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And that will be our dummy event. And now we can go back over to Pipe Dream, hit this try now button, and it should grab our event. And there it is. I'll select the event right there. It's going to bring in the details, which you don't have to worry about. And I'm going to hit continue. Now we've got this second step, which is called Notion settings. And the first thing you're going to want to do is select the exact same Notion account and the exact same database that you were working on before. So I'm going to find my database. There it is, all tasks UB. And then these two different properties are going to pop up, event name property and then the date property. So the event name is going to be just the task name or the event name. And then the date property is the date property that you want to use for setting your dates and times inside of your calendar. In my case, I want to use do, but there are some other choices you can see as well. So I'll click do here. I'll click test and we should get a success message in just a second. There it is. And you can see we have a name, we have a start date and we have an end date. And if you don't set an end date, your end date is going to be the exact same as your start date. I'll hit continue there. And then finally, all I have to do is select my Google Calendar account. And that's it. These three values are pre-filled for you. You don't have to mess with them. We can hit test right now. And it looks like we have a successful event creation. So let's hop over to Cron and see, there it is, film Cron video. And we even have the start and end time filled in correctly. Last but not least, back over at Pipe Dream, you'll hit deploy and that will make your workflow live. So from here on out, basically every hour, Pipe Dream is going to check for new pages inside of that target Notion database. And for every one of them, it's going to kick off this automation. It's going to send it over to your Google Calendar, and then it'll pop up in whatever calendar app you use. Now, admittedly, this is a pretty simple automation. Right now, it doesn't handle updating events, and it definitely won't do two-way sync. But at the very least, you can now add a task or an event to a Notion database, and you can have it pushed automatically to your calendar. And I think that is pretty useful. So link is in the description down below. You will also find written instructions for this automation in case the video is a bit too fast for you. And if you do want a full system inside of Notion for managing not only your tasks and your projects, but also notes and goals and all kinds of other great stuff, definitely check out my ultimate brain template as well over at thomasjfrank.com brain. Over 20,000 people have already used this template and are using it to manage their lives. And if you want a truly all-in-one solution for managing your personal productivity and your second brain in Notion, if you want to stop juggling tons of different productivity apps, I think you're really going to like ultimate brain. And and it also comes with tons of tutorials, onboarding guides, and active support, along with a 30-day refund guarantee. Best of all, right now, if you use the code Let's Go 2023 at checkout, you'll also get 50 bucks off of Ultimate Brain or any of my other templates as well. Now, if you are curious about Pipe Dream, which we showed off in this video in a very simple way, you might also want to check out that video right here, which shows you how to use Pipe Dream to actually send voice notes, get them transcribed, and get them summarized, and send all that over to Notion. I'll see you there.